so much in need to talk about right now that I've come back to do a part two for this. All right, Jay? So I want to get into your Leo stellium in the sixth house, right? Sixth house deals with work environment, right? Um, deal with, and deals with health, right? Um, so as I mentioned before, Mars is there. So there's a leadership quality there. Venus and Jupiter is there. Huge money potential, right? So let's say you were to communicate this with a, Gem a Gemini sun, right? Communicating basically what I'm communicating right now to everyone, Jay. Um, and explaining it to them and then looking for a potential profit from doing so, right? I mean, look at it. All of the planetary placements are there for it, right? And you got it inside of the sixth house. So if you're expressing this inside of your work environment, this would be ideal, right? You would think so. However, now I want to bounce back to um, Aquarius and the Aquarius energy. And then I'm going to bounce back at Leo and I'm going to tell you why. Because it's something that I've been experiencing, right? So, okay. Now, with the whole Aquarius thing and why I'm dipping back into that is because of Uranus. Now, as I said, you know, I might have touched on it in a previous video, but what's definitely is important to notice here, and I'm giving you some game right now, right? Since we're talking about this topic, I'm giving you some game about the Aquarius energy. Uranus, as I said, is supposed to be the modern ruler, is a rebel, right? So it's going to rebel in whatever sign that it's in, it's going to rebel against the characteristics of that sign. So for an example, let's say there is Uranus inside of Sagittarius. They are going to rebel against recklessness. They are going to rebel against, uh, they're going to rebel against now people being knowledgeable. They're going to rebel against higher education. They're going to rebel against religious institutions. They are going to rebel against leadership qualities, okay? If their Uranus is in Sagittarius in the natal chart, okay? Now, on the contrary, they are also going to rebel for whatever house Uranus is in. So let's say Uranus is inside of the eighth house. It means that they are going to rebel for matters of the eighth house which is other people's money, which is mortgages, which is um, insurance, which is, um, you know, partners earning potential, which is sex. You know, these are the things that they're going to rebel for, stand for. So why is this very important and why am I expressing this? Because as I mentioned before, you have a Leo stellium and it's in the sixth house and you could be expressing these things as a Gemini son to where it becomes, you become prominent in doing so because it's a work field, right? And you got the planetary placements there for money. So how would that in that Uranus energy affect that? It's because, first of all, let's say you hire employees and you don't know where their Uranus is. They may sabotage your company based upon where their Uranus is in their natal chart. Okay? And what's what's interesting about this also, as I said, you know, Uranus rules Aquarius, and Aquarians have the ability to infiltrate networks to find out what they want to find out, find out what they need to find out, and they may not necessarily like you at all. They may be, I don't want to use the word plot, but they may be seeking to rebel flat out. And in order to do so, they need certain types of information. So they may be sabotaging your whole get up because you don't know their natal chart. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to get deeper to that in a bit. So how would this affect even more? Uh, how would you know? How would you be able to predict this, right? Like, let's say, Jay, you and I were having a conversation, and I'm like, listen, how about you make a YouTube video, and you help me out and, and express this, right? And you may say to yourself, okay, well, if I get paid, the plan is today to say I'm going to get paid, right? Let me do it. Let me tell you why that may backfire, and you may be upset with me, have a quarrel with me about it, even mentioning it to you, right? It's because where Uranus is right now. You know how people say, stay in the moment, live in the moment. It's very important to live in the moment. Uranus is inside of the sign Aries right now. So for all of us, we, it, we all have different signs, right? It will be in a different house for all of us, right? So that's a personal thing, whatever house that is for you. Um, I know what it is for me, but for the sign, the particular sign is for everyone. So everyone who's trying to be confident, who's trying to 
exude this leadership quality about themselves to where they're overly optimistic and they're like, yeah, everything is going to work and, you know, I'm going to be a leader here and, you know, I'm going to be fiery and I'm going to show so much initiation right now. No bueno, no good. And I'm going to tell you why, because Uranus is the planet that rebels against whatever sign it's in. Okay, so, and this is something that I want to pinpoint, right? Look at, um, let me make some examples. We got, we got Amazon, I think, getting into health now. You got these big mega companies, they're getting into different branches or they think they can do any and everything now, right? They're very confident. They are very confident. And if you notice, like, that may, that may backfire. That may, back, that may backfire. And an example of that is Bitcoin. Everybody's so huge on Bitcoin. Oh, it's worth this, it's worth that, it's worth this, it's worth that. Now it's tanking. I told myself I wasn't getting into that. I, I just knew it. I knew something was not up with that. And you're dealing with, this is why it probably had such an appeal and such a surge. Because uh, I seen another video when people were like um, trying to be inquisitive about what type of monetary value according to the planets digital currency would have. And off the bat, I said Uranus because we're dealing with electronic, we're dealing with electricity, right? So it won't be something material and metal such as Venus would uh, do or, to, you know, matters of Jupiter would do. No, this is something that is electronic. So you can associate that with Uranus. So what if Uranus is placed in the sign that says, listen, don't be so confident. Don't be so um, adamant about starting things off because, you know, Aries has a weak... Uh, tendency on following through and finishing things, right? So this is how Uranus is showing its power right now. Do not sleep on Uranus. So this is why I would say, you know, hold on on that, Jay. Don't really go communicating this out there right now like that because Uranus is inside of, um, inside of Aries, you know? I'd say maybe be cautious. I mean, cordial, excuse me, when interacting with other people about this. Don't get them too excited. Don't get them too hyped up. Right, I'd say you know be humble about it, or do little certain things here and there, but don't get overboard, don't get excessive. And the reason why I say this is this, right? This is how I know I'm on target because recently, you know, I'm dealing with a, a, a about two handfuls of people right now, and a Leo is one of the wisest out of all of them. I have to say, at this point, the wisest out of all of them. Uh, the interaction that had taken place, and you know. According to some of my Aquarian friends, you know, I've looked at their charts and stuff like that, and I've seen, you know, I can see the, you know, I can see some things that are not adding up and not measuring up to the person's true self. They're not mas measuring up to the person's true identity and what they're supposed to be standing for in their truth. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get into detail about that. That's another thing that I'm probably going to have to handle one-on-one -on -one personally with them if it comes down to that. But to be aware of this is definitely great for people, like for people in general, because they get to understand the people that they deal with more. You know, because when I first started picking up on the Aquarian energy acting up, I'm like, yo, what's going on? Something's not correct. So I automatically knew I had to check myself first because something was conflicting within me. So when I figured out with uh, two, two particular Aquariuses, I, I figured out that one of them is standing up for their truth. The communication with me that I felt that I was, you know, opposed to, it was for me. They were being genuine in their natal chart. They were standing up for their truth. I appreciate that. Now, another one, they're not standing up in their truth right now. They're going against what is best for them. In one, in one area, I'm not going to say the whole shebang, but in one area, I'm like, mm, that's not good. You know, that's that's not productive. It's not beneficial. Who knows what's good, right? Um, but now to get back to this Leo, this Leo is wise um, because they understand, they communicate it rather. It's, let me leave understanding out of it. I understand from the result of our interaction, they communicated to me that um, from what's inside of what for a Pisces sun, right? Uranus is inside of the second house, which deals with personal finances, right? So um, I was looking to, you know, distribute funds and finances to, a, a, you know, a, a, a few people, you know, to do some things or whatever the case may be. 
And that particular energy says, don't do that because that would have been me being too confident in the idea. That would have been me being too sure about this thing is going to work, right? So when I look back and I reflected on them, this Leo person, like kind of like, not disrespectfully, but kind of was like, you know, put a halt on that a bit, you know? And the way that they interacted with me showed me that they too was not so confident in what they were doing. You know, so I had to look at it like, mm, okay, that that humbleness that was there. Once I started doing more research and I figured it out, I'm like, that's why. Because although, you know, we all want, you know, to be leaders and we all want to stand out and do certain things. But for me, who is the actual leader that is putting this project together, it deals with my personal finances because it's in the second house. So I'm going against what I personally need and want need for myself, not what I want, because I want it to help that person and some more individuals in a way that I felt was good because that's where my Uranus is to stand up for uh, personal finances. You understand what I'm talking about? However, you know, it's like take care of you first and then take care of everybody else, you know, so I got to look more at myself in the personal finance department first and not be so confident that you know, dealing with other people that this thing is going to work because of the sign of Aries. So every person that I deal with is a leader, right? In their own right. And I, I communicate that to the people that I deal with. I said, you know what, I teach them things on how to be uh, independent contractors, subcontractors, and things of that nature, you know what I mean? And um, I think it's real humbling and real uh, helpful for me to analyze and pinpoint that, oh, okay, this person wasn't so, um, confident in what they were doing and although I see that they have the potential to be more do more um it was pretty evident that you know they, they they can use some more work you know so I found that to be astounding I found it to be beautiful and you know the reason why I'm emphasizing that Leo individual and the reason why I'm emphasizing their sixth house stellium being in Leo is because I want to talk about fire and the sun you know earlier in the past in the other video I spoke about you know, people are expressing their sun sign, wanting to have fun and do all of this leisure stuff and all of that, right? More than they want to do the restraints, more than they want to pull back and say, well, hold on, let me see first, let me test it, let me test, let me use a theory and see before going full-fledged forward, right? And as you know, to have fun and go be on leisure and everything, it costs money. It costs money. So again, Uranus is in the sign of Aries and people are very confident in going out there and being having fun and, and doing leisure activities right now. I mean, look, this is another example, right? Some people haven't gotten their taxes back yet. Some people haven't gotten their taxes back yet. You know, so that's something to look at because it's like, okay, if a, if a leader is saying to themselves, why should I get my money? I'm going to zoom out there and I'm going to do this as soon as I get it. You know how we are. You know, that's a, that's a human nature thing, you know, depending on your circumstance, right? Only some people, you know, some people, everyone's not the same. Some people will be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to bank that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to invest that here. Some people got their, their whole agenda laid out and mapped out as soon as that money comes, right? And some people are not getting their taxes yet. That's something to pay attention to. Don't be so confident in what's happening. I bet if people like start to forget about it and like not stress it too much, it'll come when it's needed. See, people are using that Aries energy, that me, me, me energy, and they're saying, you know, they want to zoom out there and, and go when there's other energies in place that's saying you shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that this helps. Um I hope that you look at this as well because you have a Gemini sun, right? So that means for you, uh, Gemini sun, that would be Gemini first house, that would be um, uh, Cancer second house, that would be Leo third house, that would be uh, Virgo fifth house, Libra sixth house, Scorpio seventh house, Sag eighth house, uh, Cap ninth house, Aquarius 10th house, uh, Pisces 11th house, and Aries would be your 12th house. Okay, so that means for you, Jay, that Aries is um, rebelling against the characteristics of 
Aries, of course, but it's rebelling for confidential information. It's rebelling for you to keep your secrets. It's rebelling for you. You're going to stand up for self-renewal. 